Guys, welcome back to Lab Cyber. And first of all, my apologies for being away for so long, but I have been working on other projects. But today's video is a video that I had to make because what I'm about to talk about has to be one of the craziest and one of the most insane security breaches I have ever seen in my entire life. Now, it is not the scale of the breach itself, but how the breach occurred that makes this story utterly insane. And as you can see from the screen, I'm talking about how LastPass got hacked. Now, just in case you're not aware, last year, August 2022, LastPass got hacked, but they didn't report the incident until December of 2022. And I didn't cover the story back then because we didn't really know that much. All we knew was that LastPass got hacked and that the hackers uh, gained access to some sensitive data. That's all we knew. We didn't know the specifics of how LastPass actually got hacked. However, a couple of weeks ago, LastPass finally revealed how they got hacked and now that i know how i can understand why they were reluctant in the first place to tell us how they got hacked because the way they got hacked like i said is one of the craziest and one of the most insane ways i have ever seen in my entire life this breach was just utterly insane now what's all the first about what's all the drama about right first of all the target in this hack wasn't some naive intern or a member of the marketing team or, you know, some non-IT personnel. This was actually a DevOps engineer that got hacked. We're talking about an elite member of the IT personnel getting hacked. It gets even worse. Apparently, it was his personal computer that was hacked. And why is this such a big deal? Well, why was he working with company data on his personal computer at home in the first place? Now, it's possible that LastPass has a very lax security policy allowing their engineers to work with company data on their personal devices, but it's also possible that LastPass did have a security policy banning the employees from doing so, and this particular employee just chose to ignore the policy, and judging by what else he did, I'm guessing it's the latter. Now, how did his personal computer actually get hacked? Apparently, he was running a software called Plex Media, all right? And this software had a vulnerability that allowed the hackers to plant malware, steal his credentials, and then hack LastPass as a result. What's the big deal? This vulnerability wasn't some zero-day vulnerability that the developers didn't have any updates for or any patches for. It's not like the patch was released like a couple of days ago and the engineer didn't have time to update his software, things like that. No, apparently this vulnerability had been identified by Plex Media back in May of 2020. And in May 2020, they actually issued a patch, an update to fix this vulnerability. It gets even worse. Apparently, from May 2020, when this first vulnerability was discovered, and then August of 2022, when this engineer got hacked, Plex Media had updated their software 75 times. In other words, our DevOps engineer had almost three years and 75 chances to update his freaking software, and he chose not to do so. It was this one vulnerability that existed way back in May of 2020 that allowed the hackers to hack his computer and hack LastPass as a result. I really don't know what to say. The fact that this occurred or this target here was a DevOps engineer, you would think that DevOps engineers would know a lot better than running software vulnerabilities he did know better for sure. I'm sure this engineer, he knows a lot about vulnerabilities and how it's unsafe to not update the software. But for some reason, he chose not to do so. He just chose not to do so. I was like, yeah, I'm going to keep on running this software. Even though there are updates available for it for the past three years, I am not going to update my software. And that's how LastPass got hacked. Like I said, I have covered some pretty insane, ridiculous security breaches in my time. But this has to be one of the most insane things I have ever seen. The fact that this occurred against LastPass, essentially a cybersecurity company, and against a DevOps engineer. Again, we're not talking about some, you know, some, you know naive intern. No, a DevOps engineer was the target in this particular hack. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's that's really really embarrassing. So 
uh, before I round up, if you're, if you're using LastPass and you're wondering, okay, should I keep on using LastPass? Should I stop using LastPass? I would say still keep using LastPass, except change your master password. Is the list that is the listing that you can do. Change your, ma your master password. And uh, personally, I don't use LastPass. I don't use any one of these uh, third-party applications for managing passwords. I have my own manual method of creating and managing my passwords, and I would recommend that you do the same. Come up with a manual method instead, and it's much safer than relying on LastPass or any other kind of uh, third-party software uh, out there. So uh, that's it for today's video. I'd love to hear from you. Do you have any comments or you know questions? I'd love to hear from you. Put them down in the comment section below. And uh, if this is the first time you're here on the channel, welcome to Lab Cyber. I cover cybersecurity news and, and topics and uh, lessons and so on. So if you enjoy this kind of content, please do subscribe, hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up, share the video with anyone who may feel my benefit from it. And uh, as always, stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.